I'm Tom Pike, I'm 20 years old and an apprentice at Active Nation. I got into the gym when I was about 15 years old. I was a bit overweight, a bit chubby, had the chins. Uh, so yeah, I got, got into the fitness and then people started asking me questions and wanted me to start helping them out in the gym. And I got to about 16, 17. So yeah, that's when the second year of college, I realised that what I did at college, I didn't want to do later in life. I knew I was into fitness and helping people out, so that's the pathway I decided to take. University was never, uh, wasn't really for me. I knew I wasn't the the most academic uh, sort of person, so I wanted to channel my focus into fitness and, and into the fitness industry. I'm one of those people that have to be hands-on to learn. I, I'm not good at sitting in the class and learning things. I have to be active and that's the best way that I learn and it's been a good, good experience learning that way. My, my knowledge into fitness has uh, very much improved. Um, I mean, level two was starting, so you start to know the body, anatomy, and the physiology. But level three, I mean, there's some words that I'd never heard of and couldn't really say. But no, it's it's good, and put put it in train, your own training as well in the gym. It really helps out. Yeah, so you do uh, one to ones here, where you take supporters into the office. You get them to tell you, uh, tell them your goals and what they want to get out of the gym. So what we do is we take them around the gym, show them the equipment. Um, try to get to know what they like, what they don't like, and work off that. So we give them exercises to do, uh, cardio, a bit of resistance, a bit of abs, uh, see, see how they do. If they start liking it, then they're on, they're on the way to achieving their goals. I had a, a woman that came in every Sunday on my shift, and uh, she lost about a stone within three months, just helping, just helping her out. It's casual exercise, a bit of pad work with the boxing gloves. Uh, she's doing really well now, doing really well, yeah, very satisfying indeed. One thing in the fitness industry, you've got to be very uh, enthusiastic with what you do. Um, if you've got no enthusiasm, people don't, can't, can't work off that and then don't feel motivated in the gym. So, you, yeah, you've got to always have a smile on your face, always, you know, get someone going and then, yeah, they're on the way and it's, yeah, very, very, very good indeed. Well, when I was doing my level three qualification, uh, every six weeks my regional trainer came and saw me, so he sent me some work to go do, do a bit of research, have it all written down and then he'll, he'll mark it and set me some more work to do, but otherwise, no, you do your own research such as, such as I look at a website called bodybuilding.com, which is got, it's not just bodybuilding, it's a lot of athletes and um, models in there as well, um, you get good good understanding of nutrition and how to train and how to trim fat, which helps you in the one-to-ones, yeah, and also people in the gym as well, you, you, you learn from them as well. Waking up at five o'clock in the morning, you know, don't, don't get used to that at college. So, you've, yeah, you've got to get used to getting up early, staying, staying on late, and you get, you, you get used to that um, the longer you're on the job. It's just natural now <laughs> to wake up at that time. <laughs> Whenever I work in early, I come in here after work and have an, an hour session, or if I work a late shift, I come in here and what, train before my shift. Yeah, but um, everything can be used, Swim, swimming's free, gym's free. The only thing about the classes is if they're, we let the members take uh, their classes first and if there's spaces free we can always drop in and join in. We've got a great team here and they want, they want to push you into achieving what you want to get out of the fitness industry. We have, we have quite a laugh when we go out, a lot of selfies <laughs> and memories to look back on. I say apprenticeships are a, I think they're a, far, a fast track into getting your qualifications. Say, as I said, there was a guy who studied personal training, he's hadn't studied that for three years. I've, I've got, got it in a year, and now I can start using that. The future, I hope to have my own, my own business, with my own client base outside of any sort of company. I can go on to go get spin qualified, so on the bikes, uh, I want to get circuits qualified, and I'm also looking for a gym management qualification, and also take my personal training a bit further and go on to level four. It's always satisfying seeing someone come in and changing the way they are, because that's what they're here to do. Um, and helping them along and achieving that is, yeah, it's, it's great, it's great. It's, um, it's why I want to be a personal trainer, it's what I get out of the job that makes me smile and stuff like that, not to be cheesy. <laughs>